Hey, YouTube. Well, I have a theory. I have a theory. I've been trying to figure out why in the hell would a company like Gucci put out this ridiculous sweater looking like a fucking monkey with black face, half the face is black, big red lips. It's obviously a, a, a spin on, on blackface, right? Why would a company do something like that? I mean, I, don't, I, I couldn't understand it, right? Now, let, let's first say, okay, we're under, uh, we're boycotting people who support uh, these celebrities who are boycotting Gucci. So I would support that automatically, even though I haven't bought Gucci anything unless it was in a Goodwill in 50 years, right? I've never, <laughs> I've never been in a position where I can go and pay $890 for a turtleneck sweater. A sweater that most likely you won't be able to wear because you risk being mugged. All right, so they came to this decision, and it brought back an old story to me. I said, well, wait a minute. There's an angle. There's an angle. What if it's like the thing with situation with Tommy Hilfiger? Remember, and I vaguely remember this situation where Tommy Hilfiger had become very popular with black people, hip-hop people, Everybody was wearing Tommy Hilfiger, right? They were making a fortune. They were selling a lot of merchandise. But they never intended their their product to be a hip-hop uh, product. They never thought they'd see it in ghettos. They wanted it to be high-end, you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know, they had all that red, white, and blue stuff, and it became popular. They didn't want that. And there was a controversy because they were doing things to dissuade people, hip-hop people, black people, from wearing their products. I don't remember the detail. I wasn't so lazy. I'd go and, and look up that old story. Everything stays on YouTube forever, you know. Anyway, because I'm thinking, why would Gucci do something like that? Because, I mean, how many people can afford a $890 sweater, period? Particularly a sweater that they most likely will not be able to wear except for gatherings with, with their uh, other racist friends who will find it funny or amusing. I said, well, I wonder if they're trying for these rappers. See, these rappers, you say, well, it's only, what is it, a third of a percent of people, a third of a third of a third of a third of black people uh, can afford this stuff. And uh, the, and uh, rapper, rappers seem to like this kind of thing. They like the status things. They like the big gaudy jewelry. They like, you know, all this is bling bling, basically. And includes Gucci symbols, other designer symbols. Maybe they don't want these big audiences of these people turning their product black. Is it, it, yeah, that's kind of what happened with, with Hillfinger. I think there was some kind of correction made, some apologies were made and things like that with that situation. But they didn't. They never anticipated their product becoming so popular with black people, right? And now you see the rappers. I, so I think that this might be geared towards these rappers, because ironically, they're the ones who are starting this this uh, boycott. Ti, several other rappers I saw were supporting this, this boycott of Gucci. So they may be just playing into their hands. But what they're saying is, we don't give a damn about you, and we'll do this extreme because everybody in America is talking about blackface now, right? Coincidentally, and they drop a sweater which is blackface. They may be trying to turn off black people from their products. Maybe they want you to boycott it. Gucci has always strived to be a, an extraordinary company, right? High end, top 1% type of a company. Their products becoming becoming too, too popular with hip hop community. Well, probably they, they would consider that lowering the brand, the brand name. Why should I wanna wear Gucci? I mean, street people are wearing Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's just an angle. It's just a theory. But I think that they may, it's possibility, this is what they want. Because I don't know why else you would put a blackface sweater on somebody in this climate. I just don't understand what, what, uh, what other excuse they would have. These are not stupid people. But, uh, yeah. At one point, I remember in was it the 70s, Gucci was starting to become real popular. 
with people, modest income people, people were, were knocking them off and things like that. And they wanted to get their product back, back out of the hands of the ordinary people and back to these high end. So that was their goal to get back to this high end stuff. And they had murders in their family. Uh, uh, one of the brothers married his woman. The woman wanted the money. And I mean, they were killing each other, buying each other out. I don't think there are many, many Gucci people actually a part of that company anymore. So they were having tremendous fallout. And when they when they get got reorganized, their goal was to get back to a high extreme high end clothing, right? And this could be part of it. So I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised. They already anticipated that people would boycott their products. And perhaps what they're saying is, we don't want your money. We don't want your money. We don't want you wearing our products. It could be it. Maybe not. Anyway, I still support uh, boycotting Gucci. Now, the likelihood of me buying anything Gucci under any conditions is very close to zero, right? But I saw this petition, uh, but they, what, what T.I. and his group were asking was people not buy from Gucci, not wear anything Gucci, and also uh, spread the word. So I can do that part. I can put it on my social media, and that's what they were, the other thing we were asking. So we can all do that. Because there are good people in the world. Believe it or not, everybody white is not your enemy. There are many people on this, on this planet who will not cross a picket line. Who will not buy, uh, will not uh, support a product on GP. But I am suspicious that this is exactly what these people wanted. I mean, they would kind of solve their problem, right? They don't want their product going down into the uh, hip-hop communities regular people it drives the prices down they make a lot of money but it drives their brand down i'm just guessing something there's flies in the soup so we might be playing right into their hands but anyway this could be geared towards this uh hip-hop communities because i notice a lot of rappers do wear that kind of stuff they wear things that are unattainable to the average person but it makes them popular so this is a status symbol right so next thing you know people are buying it and they don't want that they don't want us that their product on our backs they want the top one percent they want high fashion as i remember the controversy and they went through because some of the people were just, were just wanted the dollar they were all in for all this uh, franchising and things anybody available to anybody you can buy it at you know macy's and the other group wanted their product to return to being a high-end product. Only the elite can afford. Now, only the elite can afford. You say, well, damn, that's got to be a tiny market. But they're buying $890 sweaters. I mean, how often do would you wear a, a black sweater anyway with big lips painted on it? And other ridiculous things, you know. So it's a mystery about fashion because a piece of leather is a piece of leather. They stamped their name on it now. It's worth, you know, $13,000. That's the audience they want. That's my theory. All right, people. Don't buy Gucci. Not even in your dreams.